Okay, let's draw the free body diagram we need to solve for the forces in this system. So this ring here is only subjected to forces coming from these three ropes. That means it's in particle equilibrium. So if we draw the ring, it's in particle equilibrium, so the line of action of all the forces will meet at a point. And it looks like that point in this situation will be at the center of the ring. Let's put our coordinate system at the center. For ropes, chains, slings, springs, the line of action of the force is along the axis of the component. But for ropes, chains, and slings, they can only support tensile forces. The force from rope AB is acting down, and the force in this rope is equal to the weight of the crate. The force in rope AB has to be acting to the right. The rope is in tension. This is being subjected to the unknown force from the hand, F. Rope AC must also be in tension, which means it's pulling on the ring in this direction. And from opposite interior angles, we see that this force is acting at angle theta. 